Dams are incredibly useful to our society, but they can be incredibly dangerous as well. These are the top five most dangerous dams. Number five, the Mosul Dam in Iraq. The Mosul Dam is currently called the most dangerous dam in the world and is the largest dam in Iraq. The Mosul Dam sits on the Tigris River, just north of Mosul. The dam is 2 miles wide and can hold 2.7 cubic miles of water. 1.7 million residents in Mosul rely on the dam to provide them with electricity. It opened on July 7, 1986 and cost $1.5 billion to construct. But it has been plagued with problems right from the start. The dam continuously sprouted leaks and several sinkholes have even developed. Furthermore, the dam was built on the top of gypsum, which is a soft mineral that can dissolve if it comes in contact with water. Because of this, the dam has huge potential for interior erosion. In 2006, the United States Army Corps of Engineers talked about the dam's dangers. They declared that, should the dam collapse, Mosul would be flooded under 65 feet of water. Baghdad would also be submerged under 15 feet of water. The estimated death toll would be half a million people, and another 7 million people would be affected, injured, or forced to evacuate their homes. On October 30, 2007, the U.S. Special Inspector General for Iraq released a startling report on the dam. The report stated that the dam's foundations could give way at any moment. Time is therefore very much of the essence. The Mosul Dam is not just dangerous, it's ready to release its dangers and subsequent destruction at any given moment. Number 4. The Isabella Dam The Isabella Dam was built in the early 1950s and sits on the Lake Isabella, far above the city of Bakersfield, California. The dam is dangerous, however, and currently faces two very real threats. The first threat has to do with the dam's construction. The Isabella Dam was built before modern engineering and fails to meet modern standards. This means the dam's infrastructure is vulnerable and internal erosion could cause a failure. The second threat is that the dam was built close to an active seismic fault. This seismic fault could cause an earthquake that would, in turn, cause the dam to fail. Measures were taken in 2005 to ensure the dam did not take in too much water and mitigated the amount of water pressure on the dam. However, if the reservoir above the dam becomes too full, the water pressure could be great enough to cause a failure. And if the dam were to fail, the entire city of Bakersfield would be flooded under 20 feet of water, causing mass destruction. Number 3. The Three Gorges Dam in China The Three Gorges Dam is a large and controversial dam in the Yaichang Hubei province in China. The dam is the biggest hydroelectric facility in the world. In 2014, it held the world record for the most power generation as well. It cost a staggering $31 billion to build, and it was completed in July of 2012. It is over 7,000 feet long, with a water catchment area of 390,000 square miles. The dam is intended to not only provide electricity, but also to increase the river's shipping capacity. But the dam has flooded before, ruining archaeological sites and causing ecological changes and destruction. Floods caused by the dam have also caused over a million people to be displaced. Furthermore, the dam has increased the risk of massive, potentially fatal landslides in the area. Making matters worse, the dam sits on a seismic fault, on highly erosive land. In fact, 80% of the land in the vicinity of the dam is experiencing erosion, and this erosion is depositing millions of tons of sediment into the Yangtze River. If the dam were to give way, the environmental consequences would be unparalleled, and it would decimate the city of Shanghai which is likely why the Three Gorges Dam has been referred to as a potential environmental catastrophe. Number 2. The Yuso Dam in Saure's Lake The Yuso Dam is a 3-mile long and 2-mile wide dam. It is the world's highest natural dam, towering at 1,860 feet high. But should this dam fail, it would cause the worst natural disaster in human history. Failure of this dam could impact as many as 5 million people in Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. 
it would also cause unfathomable environmental destruction. There are currently three main ways the dam could fail. The first is by an earthquake, as the area has experienced several earthquakes in the past, and the dam is apparently highly susceptible. The second way the dam could fail is by a landslide. A landslide could cause a massive tsunami-type wave, which could in turn trigger a failure event. These mudslides could bury the surrounding villages. And the third way the dam could fail is by intentional destruction. Given the location of the dam in a very volatile place in the world, the knowledge of a failure of such magnitude could prompt a potential terrorist attack which would affect the lives of millions. Several analysts are very worried the dam could be the target of the terrorist attack, and all it would take is one well-placed bomb. Out of the three possibilities though, analysts are mostly concerned of an earthquake. The natural dam is not man-made and was formed in 1911 by an earthquake, which essentially triggered a landslide that blocked the river off. As such, analysts are convinced that it's only a matter of time before a major earthquake happens again, and if the foundations of the natural dam are shaken too much, it could fail in a catastrophic way. And finally, number one, the Kariba Dam in South Africa. The Kariba Dam is a concrete dam that sits on the Zambezi River Basin. The dam is situated between Zambia and Zimbabwe. It is massive, standing 420 feet tall and 1,900 feet long. The dam is responsible for the foundation of Lake Kariba, which is a large lake that spans 170 miles. The dam was initially opened in 1959, but since 2008, the dam has experienced a plethora of troubling problems, leading experts to declare the Kariba Dam as both dangerous and unsafe. In 2008 and 2010, rising water levels caused flooding, forcing over 150,000 people to evacuate their homes. This was, of course, a cause for concern. But the real cause for concern came in 2014, when engineers discovered that the foundations of the dam were weak, and that the dam would fail unless necessary repairs were made. The dam was built on a solid foundation of basalt, but over the years the basalt has corroded quite a bit. Should the dam fail, a tsunami-sized torrent of water would barrel through the Zambezi Valley, and would reach Mozambique in only 8 short hours. The failure would mean that 40% of South Africa's hydroelectric power would be wiped out. It would also cause unknown devastation to wildlife and the ecosystem in the valley. It's estimated that should the dam fail, 3.5 million people could be at risk. But fortunately, in 2018, repairs began and are still underway. Before we close out today's video, we have just a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list. Today's honorable mention does not go to a specific dam, but rather a specific type of dam. Low head dams. Low head dams are common, dangerous, and deadly. They are built to span rivers and streams, and are called low head dams because they are not highly visible. Most of them are actually built under the water. These dams and the water surrounding them is deceiving. Unsuspecting swimmers can actually be pulled under by the dam, and once they are pulled under, it's almost impossible to escape. The bottom of the dam produces extremely strong currents that literally push people to the bottom of the water. Swimmers, kayakers, boaters, rafters, and everything in between can be at risk. Low head dams also create reverse currents that can disorient the person trapped. And due to their torrent currents, the water in a low head dam does not have very much buoyancy, so even life jackets and life preservers would be little help. Thousands of these dams were built in the 1800s, but in modern times, these dams are banned. But many people don't know where all the low head dams are actually placed, and there are no warning sites to alert potential people of their existence. Low head dams are often referred to as drowning machines due to the high number of deaths they cause annually. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Check out my previous upload on the top 5 biggest tree houses on earth. 
And in the meantime, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss another video.